I have bought my dream truck. Hey guys, my name is June. I love spending time in the great outdoors and mother nature. And for a few years now, I've been doing quite a fair bit of camping, especially car camping with my trusted Subaru Forester. This SUV has been absolutely amazing and has brought me on some rough terrains to many places I never thought an SUV could take me. But I've also come to realize it has certain limitations. While it has served me well all this time, I also have a dream that I could one day own a vehicle I could convert to a full, complete camper, a home on wheels that could take on rougher terrains to higher mountains on a long overlanding journey across the world. And for that, I need a proper 4x4 truck that is capable, reliable, and bulletproof. So I did it! I bought my dream truck! the arrival of my new baby. Oh my god, so excited. So this is my new truck. And thanks to this guy, listen, it's because of him that I found my dream truck. Always wanted an LC and finally, he has made my dream come true. Educating me on LCs, the type of LCs, the capabilities of LCs, and how to maintain an LC, and from purchasing of the truck, sending the car for service, push my home, insurance, road tax, he helped me with everything. So I'm so thankful to you, Lizen. Can I say something great? <laughs> Uh, I meet a lot of people and uh, not many ladies buy LC but this is one amazing lady because all ladies will go for automatic and she's the only one who specifically requested that she wants a manual gearbox she wanted a PTO uh, uh, winch and she wanted a 1KZ with a mechanical fuel pump specifically, no ladies wants this in fact men prefer automatic 1KZ so this is one special lady. She's going to bring this car to places and I'm excited to see her videos. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, so much. thank you, thank you, thank you. This is my new baby. Oh, finally, I've been dreaming about this for a long, long time. And it has finally come true. Let's start the car. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to because it is a manual truck, but I am loving it. Oh, wow. It's like driving a truck.
let me introduce to you my new baby. This is the Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series LJ79, also known as LC2. It's got a Japan import cabin, year of make 1991, so it is a 33 year old truck. Manual transmission, 3.0 liter diesel engine, fitted with the 1KZ engine, which is top of the range. One of the best, if not the best, engines out there for all LCs. I don't know much about engine, but from what I heard, this engine is bulletproof. Also has a mechanical fuel pump and a PTO winch. The mileage when I got it is about 200 plus kilometers. But you know what? 200k for an old Toyota truck like this is, it is honestly nothing. Because this truck can go much further and longer. Now, although it is a 30 year old truck, its engine, its machinery, its functionality are still in excellent condition. The only thing that needs a little bit of TLC is probably the aesthetics. Right now, after all those years, the interior looks a little bit run down. Um, probably needs a good interior steam cleaning and perhaps also a carpet change. As for the exterior, I think it could benefit from a new paint job. Yeah, it definitely needs a new coat of paint. Just very basic and simple aesthetic refurbishments. Nothing too crazy because honestly to me, aesthetics is not number one. Most importantly is the functionality of the car. So what are my plans with the LC? Well, first and foremost, my first few months will be lots of bonding session and getting to know the LC. It's a manual transmission so <laughs> definitely needs a lot of getting used to. I'm going to be practicing driving on road and then maybe slowly transition to soft off-road and then moderate off-road and then hopefully one day a proper off-road. But you know what, I am really lucky because I do have one or two I would say LC mentor or LC gurus whom I can learn from and it's going to be a steep learning curve for me but I am looking forward to it. And then maybe eventually down the line I might go for a basic four-wheel drive driving course. I don't know, we'll see. And of course the next big plan with this LC is to start building the ultimate camping and overlanding rig of my dreams. Definitely I'm going to go with a few upgrades, structural upgrades like a new suspension system, new tires, new rims, and then later on, definitely a rooftop tent and a 270 awning. This is one of my favorite things about the LC, the back door. Welcome to my humble abode. So what I plan to do with the LC next is definitely to remove the back seats to open up the space in this LC and then later on maybe some insulation including sound insulation and temperature management and then definitely some storage system perhaps a drawer or cabinetry system and then of course a fully functional kitchen so that I can cook at the back of the car definitely a drop down table over here and then comes power, solar and the electricals the possibilities are endless and I am just bursting with ideas and excitement now. But of course, one step at a time. There's no need to rush through it and I'm just going to trust the process. There is so much I need to learn about the Land Cruiser. How to utilize it, how to drive it well, how to care for it, how to maintain it. It is such a classic, beautiful beast of a truck and I just want to make sure I treat it right and be the good owner it deserves and hopefully carry on its legacy and take it around the world one day. She doesn't have a name yet um, but I'm sure soon when the time feels right, when the stars are aligned and when inspiration hits, I'm sure she'll get her name. If you guys have any idea what I should name my Elsie, please drop your suggestions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you know anything about LC or if you are an LC owner, please, I would appreciate any knowledge and experience that you can share with me. And also, if you have any idea or recommendation on how I should build the camping and overlanding rig of my dreams, please let me know in the comments because I would really love to hear from you. 
This is the start of an incredible journey and I am beyond excited to see where it takes me. I hope you are excited too because the real adventure has just begun.